Hello, welcome to another day with Prini. Today, as you can see, um, I'm focusing on lower body exercise, core, the stomach, abdominal, body, muscle, tightening of the body, stomach, core. Sorry. This exercise looks very easy, but it's very difficult. I just did things, I used more of my pillow in this particular exercise. I'm trying straightening my abdominal walls. You know, after birthing four children and four CS. Looking at this video, you can see the intense pain I was going through. Tightening of these abdominal walls is not easy. Tightening, you saw my pillow fell off. I would continue because I was determined <sighs> if I picked it up. So during this video, you know, as a mother, you have to do everything possible to tighten those abdominal walls after childbirth. I'm trying my best. This one kicks all for the lower stomach. You know, this mommy powder for fuga, it's not easy to eat up, but you have to work very hard to it goes. So this particular exercise is very good for the abdominal walls, the st stomach muscle. I did everything about just lying down in this exercise video everything i did is about tightening of my abdominal walls working so hard they are very difficult but they look very easy you can give it a try you can give it a shot and tell me what you think if you're welcome to my channel i always tell you i'm a mother of four um and i did cs four times this particular one going up this particular one i tried doing it without a dumbbell but it was difficult Due to I'm still training myself, I'm still on this journey, so I have to use my dumbbell. The dumbbell will give you a resistance, to give you the grabs you need. So I'm focusing on my stomach. I told you that whenever you're doing any sport, you're doing as much as possible. I take a walk, but I did more, I do more focusing on my stomach because when you don't focus on those your target areas, you end up you lose to your weight together. You won't be noticing. You won't be shapey again. Focusing on my target areas my stomach and my hands i think that you my main target areas my stomach and my hands so as much as possible i focus on this area so if they go down i'm good to go so so watch my video story time it's been a long time i said a story i'm going to give you a brief one a lady came to me telling me that mm, i don't i don't know how i'm going to make the rough experience because i'm giving in the nigerian content Let's see. Okay, she said her husband, her guy, her boyfriend is like a 850,000. Depends on your currency. Okay, let's say in America, let's give you roughly close to, you know, you know, every country has their currency and has a level of money. Okay, let's say close to, I don't know, I'm going to just, we'll just let me give it according to the currency, 850. And she says she earns about um, 350. Then she said that um, she buys things for the guy. And when this guy buys things for himself, like sometimes he buys shoes of close to 50,000, he buys shirts, designer things, good quality things for himself. Then when he wants to buy her something, he might just buy her a bag of 5,000 for someone that makes 850. Then, then the other time she said she bought, he bought her something again of 7,000. And she said in her own that when she was buying things for this guy, she was using like 40,000, spent like 50,000. Like she, she makes 300,000. This is the kind of amount she uses to buy this guy more good things. Then she noticed that when this guy is buying things for her, he just buy peanuts. Even as much as he doesn't even give her any money, he, she does not ask. So she now said, What? She, she stop. <laughs> In my own, I thought, Why won't you stop? If, if the giving is not reciprocal, you stop. Normal, if a man is even with his, the love is shaking him, he's meant to even give more, he's meant to buy him more quality things as the man, and it's even any more than you. But when he's not doing it, dear, you are dating yourself. That's why I told her, you are dating yourself. Then maybe there's somebody out there he's doing it for. Or maybe he's a self centered person, he knows only about himself. Whatever you can condone, now if you marry, you it will continue, it will not change. Either you trash it out to him, say it with him, or dear. You carry your bag and go. There's no, there's no yet commitment. As soon as you said that you sit on the table, you tell him things. Analyze why he's behaving like that. 
or you carry your bag. I told her because anything you can do now, you continue in marriage. It might even get worse. Then you might not even give you money for food. You say you work. You might be lavishing all the money on yourself. Whatever you cannot trash out now as a single person, it will continue. And after that too, there might even be someone else he's giving that money to. So you might still be dating yourself. So it, 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 it's better. It's better than a broken relationship than a broken marriage. It's too early. When you see all these people that are very stingy, they will not even want to shake body. Quite right, they have not said that they should buy you a house or buy you a cow. But when a man likes you, you must notice it. Love still goes with giving. I did not say he should carry all his salary and give you. I did not say he should give you half of his salary. But he should buy you things that are little bit worth it. Where he sees that what you do, you are trying, you are doing your best. Love is a 50-50 way. It should not be one-sided. I always tell people, love should not be on one person's side and the other person's side is suffering. It should be reciprocal, both parties. So either that the person might be a very stingy person, or either my the person might be giving it to somebody else, or either that the person has seen you as missing dependent, but there's nothing like communication in relationships. It's very important to so you sit down, talk. And if you have done your best and you see your best is not good enough, it's not worth it. Kaya, Kaya, carry your bag, go. So what do you think? Tell me what you think in the comment section. You see me, I was doing this exercise, I was crying, I won't lie to you, I cried in this particular video. This is Russian twist for the side. You know, if you have to have that very sweet, small, slimmer waist, this Russian twist is a must do. You see, I tried my best in this exercise. It's been a while. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Thank you for writing me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want to see more of you. You know, I'm not here giving up in myself. So don't give up on yourself. We must achieve our summer body. No giving up. No turning back. It's too late. Okay, dears. Have a nice day. Thank you. Till next time in my next channel. I'd love to see you there. Bye.